All right guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna be doing oil changes on the 250 and the 110. And then we're gonna uh, take it to the sheds, put them away for the winter, get them all sorted out, ready for next year. So yeah, I'm gonna walk you through how to do it. Kind of talk about the bikes a little bit, a little walk through. Let's get started. All right, so first we're gonna start off with the KLX 110. Uh, nothing much to it. We've got different seat cover, different plastics. As you can tell, they're Senj graphics. You can custom make whatever colors you want. So I chose this one, blue camo. And then we got light bar. It's pretty bright. Pro taper grips. We've got for mods, like performance. The only one we got is this knockoff T4 Piranha exhaust. It was like a hundred bucks on Amazon. It runs great. We got it jetted with a 95 main jet and then stock pilot. Uh, down here, a little lower, we have a BBR frame brace and then a Twin Bros heavy duty foot peg cradle. And then we also have these DRC wide foot pegs, which are great for the bigger riders. Okay, so right here we've got 10W40 Kawasaki four-stroke engine oil. These uh, small bikes only take a quart, so this is what we're gonna be using. Kawasaki oil filter. I don't know if we're gonna put this in or not. Got our oil container for the old oil. All right, so we got a 17 millimeter deep well. Okay, so we popped it loose. And you wanna grab your oil container or catcher and then do the rest by hand. There you go. So we got nothing on the end of this, which is good. That means that there's no metal in the motor. All right, so now that we got the oil drained out, we're gonna put the plug back in and then get new oil. Now that the oil is dripping, we're gonna thread the plug back in. And then when you're tightening it, you wanna give it so, so, so it's tight like this, there's pressure, and then you go one, two, three, and that should be good enough. Obviously, you want to use a torque stick if you're doing it properly, but these are toys. All right, so my oil change kits come with these sweet little cardboard um, funnels. So we're gonna use that, and then we got our SAE 10W40 Kawasaki oil. Get it all on the bike, and then start it up, make sure she runs. All right, so I took the cap off of here. And we're gonna put in one quart of Kawasaki oil. Gonna pour it in real careful. Perfect. So the 250 needs an oil change as well. This one only takes like three fourths of a quart because the motor oil and the gear oil is separate, which is pretty cool because it's uh, it's a race bike. So what I got here is a 2016 Honda 250R, 53 original hours on it. It's completely stock except for the graphics kit that was put on by the previous owner. I got it this past winter. It was 
pretty good deal. It was four grand. Um, it's all stock, which is really nice. The only upgrade it has, it's got hand guards for your, uh, in case I hit a tree. And it did happen. I hit a tree right here. It sent the clutch lever through the, the guard, but I'm glad I have it. I've taken this out at a, a riding park in one track so far. It's really fun. Hoping to get some more content with it next year. I never was able to film with it, with any of the bikes actually this year. So we'll do an oil change for the winter and then maybe do a little bit of riding right here. All right, I don't know what size it is. So I brought over half the toolbox. It's a 12 millimeter, a lot different than the Kawasaki. So with this one, I have to replace the crush washer because this bike's been leaking oil all over my floor for the past month and a half. Also no uh, metal on the bolt, which is good. All right, well now that it's dripping, we're gonna put the, the bolt back in, but this time I'm gonna put a crush washer because it's been leaking oil, and I realized there wasn't a washer on the drain. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. There we go. So they don't have any type of way to measure it, so I have this little measuring cup, which will be fine since it's only a cork, but I have to clean it out real quick, so we'll do that. All right, so we are gonna put in 0.85 liters of the Honda oil right here. loaded up now down to the sheds So now we're gonna head to my shed, drop off the bikes, and I'll probably wrap up the end of the video. See you guys on the road. All right, we made it to the sheds. Now we're gonna unload the bikes and get them put away. daylight so I didn't really get a good um, video inside but both the bikes are put away we'll get the 250 down here probably sometime next week thanks for watching that's the end of the video I'll see you guys in the next one